welcome everyone to this prayer service. Let us pray together. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this moment, the gift of life. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Spirit of God, guide us to the truth. Amen. Dear loving children of God, this moment, let's give glory to God for the gift of our blessed mother to the church and to each one of us as our own mother. So let us thank God for the gift of uh, our intercession towards uh, our mother and through our mother, whatever we receive, let's give glory to God the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit for the gift of our blessed mother. And now offer, offer whatever that you are going through in your life. Was going through all your uh, uh, messages, emails, particularly your prayer intentions, which you sent to me for praying over at the, especially here in Majigori. So thank you for all your prayer intentions. Whatever that you are going through right now, your struggles, your difficulties, maybe that internal conflicts or inner war, uh, whatever the frustrations or irritations of your life, if you're really broken or unhappy, whatever the disturbances or distractions in your personal life, if there is anything that's really concerning your life now, offer at the foot of Jesus through the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Mother now. Let's also remember all the members of our family and offer each one of them at the foot of the cross. And let's prepare ourselves to do the surrender prayer. Hide me in your holy wounds today. Lessen my desires to be known. Cut short my desire to be loved. Uproot the evil desires within me. And whatever the evil desires that's in my life, protect me from all kinds of evil and evil inclinations and evil tendencies. I surrender my mind, my heart and my body Use it for your eternal glory. I surrender every single child of yours who is struggling just like me. Wash and immerse us into the ocean of precious blood of Jesus and fill us with the Holy Spirit. Let us witness your love on the earth. Amen. Let's read God's word together. Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verse 7 to 9. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, what a beautiful uh, word that we have just heard as we have completed Gospel of Mark chapter 10. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. And the two shall become one flesh. Now, think about your sacrament of matrimony. Your, your matrimony, your relationship between you and your spouse, this should be stronger than the blood relationship. What do you mean by blood relationship? Mother with their children or father with their children. 
relationship between parents and children, they, that's got the blood relation. But between spouse, there is no blood relation. But what Jesus speaks to us, your relationship between the husband and wife, I say the spouse, relationship between spouses, husband and wife, that should be stronger and you both should be one flesh. That's what we call mutual love relationship. Heart to heart, soul to soul, body to body, one relationship. Your relation should be stronger and higher than the blood relationship. Meaning, more than your connection towards the children. Between the parents and children, more than you connect with your child, you have to connect with your spouse. This is the right teachings of the Catholic Church. Mutual love relationship between spouse, husband and wife is most important. Sisters and brothers, when you, when you listen to me this, especially all those who are in the matrimony, sacrament of matrimony, think about your, your matrimony, how you live, how, how you are connected to your spouse with your heart and with your soul and with your body. So heart to heart, soul to soul, then comes body to body. Such a three levels of relationship brings wonderful and healthy child in the sacrament of matrimony. Thank you, Father, for this help. A humble prayer, enlighten our mind with the truth. Inflame our heart with your love. Enrich our life with more and more service. Lord, bless us with your wisdom. We pray, help us to practice genuine love, which unites everyone together in Christ Jesus. Give us this day the grace to live now as you intend, dear God, to smile. Even when our burdens seem heavy, our hearts seem broken, let us be charitable and humble in humiliation and in all our inconveniences. Above all, O merciful Father, let us suffer without regret for your holy will. Amen. Sisters and brothers, this is the moment we offer all our weaknesses. Offer your vulnerabilities, your repeated sins and bad habits. Do not lose heart and do not give up. Offer this at the foot of Jesus and through the immaculate heart of our blessed mother. Let's pray together for deliverance. Son of God came to the world to destroy evil and the works of devil. I've given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of enemies. Nothing shall harm you. They have conquered evil by the blood of the Lamb. I have come so that you may have life, life in abundance. I, your servant, exercising the priestly ministry in the most holy name of Jesus, asking God's deliverance upon his children right now. Father God, we believe and profess that you are all-powerful and almighty God. You always listen to the prayers of your children. We surrender the totality of our life today, asking your healing hand upon our body and soul. Let there be healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I command in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All the evil powers that troubles and disturbs us by the merit and the power of the most precious body and blood of Christ, let those evil powers move into the foot of the cross of Jesus of Nazareth. Never come back to us again. I'm the child of the Father. I'm the body of Jesus Christ. I'm the temple of the Holy Spirit. I belong to heaven. Even you have no right and authority over me. Amen. Sisters and brothers, this is the moment we pray for peace in the world, peace in our own hearts, in our own families. And let's pray and wish 
peace in our neighborhood, especially whoever we meet today, this moment. Let the peace of Christ overshadow us. Praying together for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. We remember and pray for all the souls in purgatory, the departed members of our families. Let's pray together. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I love you, save souls. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. We remember people from our own families who are away from God, away from sacraments, particularly as, uh, as I am here in Majigori, I look at the people here, hundreds and hundreds of people, the way they practice their faith, going for confession regularly, going to the Holy Mass regularly, and going for adoration regularly, you know, from our own families, people who are away from sacraments, who publicly and privately deny and rejecting God. Those who speak all kinds of rubbish about the church and the people of God. So say some brothers, it's our duty praying for the conversion of sinners. When our Blessed Mother gave an apparition to one of the, uh, one of the visionaries in Majigori, uh, one of the messages, praying for, praying for conversion of sinners. That's a powerful form of prayer. Let's pray for our own family members away from God. Lord, have mercy on them. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Let us claim Psalm 91, assurance of God's protection and providence upon each one of us throughout this day. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Make me a channel of your grace. We pray, Sacred Heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mary, I consecrate my life to the most holy love of your two hearts. Keep me faithful until death. Bring me one day to the happy home in heaven that I enjoy with the triune God forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Michael, guard and protect us. Our guardian angels, guard us. Let us pray together. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Sister Sam, brothers, as we are particularly reflecting upon the sacrament of matrimony today, you are, you two are no more uh, uh, two individuals. You are together, one flesh. Husband and wife, you have to give, you have to mutually give and receive forgiveness. This is my humble sharing. It's true that no one is perfect, nobody is perfect. You have to give mutual uh, uh, forgiveness. Give and receive. Give and receive forgiveness. So we are praying particularly for all the broken marriages, broken families, people who are going with a divorce, for even for a silly reasons, you know, there are some there are some exemptions. There are some right reasons so that you can apply for an ex, uh, 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 divorce officially by the church. But for silly reasons, for no reasons, if you go for it, you are going with your own human will. We are here to fulfill the will of God, the will of God, not our human will. So sisters and brothers, remember all the broken families. If you know broken families, remember them. Also, offer all of all your other intentions before you receive the priestly blessing. 
offer all the cancer patients, heart patients, if you're single, if you're going through struggles, especially you are young adults, you're waiting to find the right spouse. And uh, I want to say this, you are, you are waiting not for a partner, not for living together. You have to pray for your spouse, not for partner, not for living together. You have to pray for your spouse, especially to all the young adults. So let's pray together for all your intentions, whatever your brokenness, whatever you are going through, if you're waiting for a job, if you are building a house, or if you're going through a lot of health issues, if you're really broken, if you're really feeling lonely in your life, if you are really feeling uh, disappointments in life, whatever your intentions offer at this moment, receive the priestly blessing. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters and brothers, today's our Bible reading. Gospel of Mark chapter 11, Gospel of Mark chapter 11. And I'm happy to see so many of you are hundreds and hundreds of prayer intentions you're offering to uh, this channel as I requested uh, to pray over those intentions. I read everything before I go to sleep. And many of you are sending me to my email ID, some of your personal stuff. I read and replay and remember all those intentions when I, when I recite my rosaries, when I do mass here these days. So definitely praying for you. Pray for us and pray for this beautiful place. Whenever you have time, coming years, make sure to visit this beautiful place and experience God's blessings and healings, whatever way God wants. This place speaks to us. Go for regular confession. Go for regular mass. Go for adoration. Pray with all your heart. One of the powerful messages. When you pray, pray with your heart. Pray with all your heart. Sisters and brothers, may God bless you, praying for you. And I have uploaded a short video of Operation Hill on the... Um, uh, I forgot about that. Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, Instagram. So as I told you, there's an Instagram, uh, Ronnie George, Father Ronnie George. In that Instagram, I just uploaded less than one minute uh, video that's, uh, that describes about the Operation Hill. If you wish, you can have a look. Have a blessed day. And if that's helping, you can share in Instagram. Blessed day, sisters and brothers. Enjoy your life.